I recently posted my top 10 cheap RC cars of 2022 video and immediately after posting that video people hit the comment section saying I got it completely wrong. The HBX 901A should not be at the number one spot. It should be the brushless version 2 WL Toys models, the 124016 and the 124017. I wanted to put this video together real quick, basically just to explain why I didn't include them on the list. I'm going to clear up some of the questions that people have posted in the comments section of the top 10 video. Uh, and I'm going to talk about what I would like to see from WL Toys this year, because overall I am a little bit disappointed. So why didn't I include the version 2 brushless WL Toys models on the list? Well, it's quite simple really. I really don't feel like they deserve a place on the top 10 list. I just don't feel like I can promote a product that feels second best. The version one should have been really, really good from the start. There shouldn't have been any cogging issues. Everything should have been perfect. Now, WL Toys let standards slip a little bit here. They should have done better quality control and testing before releasing the version one brushless models. Uh, overall, a very disappointing effort from WL Toys. Now for those of you who have just stumbled across this video or my channel, you may be wondering what was the issue with the version 1 models. Well they actually suffered with a lot of cogging issues as you can see here in some footage by my fellow RC YouTubers. Now I noticed a bit of cogging there, the steering servo is pretty quick. There is slight cogging. I think that's got to do with the stock gearing on this motor. Let's go up here. Seems to have pretty good power though. Here we go. Stand back. <laughs> oh yeah. So that had a little bit of cogging just Whoa. on that tail there. So exact same uh, issue that we would have had with that, uh, that 124017. There is a little bit of cogging. You know that right off the bat. Check this out, ready? Oh. See that? Look, before we even get into anything, let's see if we can fix that. We're now back out, and this is set to the maximum punch setting, and we're gonna see if there's any kind of difference. So, oh, still a bit of cogging, man, look. Still a bit of cogging. So I'm not too sure how much of a difference it's made, but I still notice it. Yeah, we do have that cogging issue. Let's try that out. Yeah, it's still very evident on this model. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my own footage to use. I was offered a version one to review on my channel. I kindly declined because after seeing other people's reviews and seeing how bad they actually were, I decided they just weren't for me. I don't necessarily have an issue with WL Toys at the moment, but I do think lately they have let standards slip a little bit. The 144001 that you see here has been a very popular RC car since its release. I have featured this thing heavily on my channel. It's one of the models that I featured quite early on on my channel, and that did generate a lot of subscribers for me when I did the brushless conversions. The 144002, the monster truck version, uh, I've also featured quite heavily on the channel. I absolutely love these models, but some of the recent stuff has been a little bit disappointing. Some people were asking in the comments section, is it actually worth getting the version 2 brushless models by WL Toys? Well, yes, absolutely. I'm not going to stand here and say don't get them because they have sorted the issues out. They've changed the motor around. They've changed the gearing around. The cogging issues have now gone. Things have been resolved but I just think it's still a little bit disappointing and it's just a quick attempt by WL Toys to gain back some of those customers that they would have lost when they released the version one. So would I recommend the version two brushless models? Well, I haven't even featured them on my channel. I decided uh, against featuring them because I was still a little bit disappointed about the whole situation. Every single RC YouTuber out there had exactly the same issue when it comes to cogging. Yes, they've released the version two, but I just think that disappointment, I cannot get it out of my mind. Maybe I'm holding a grudge, maybe not. That's just my opinion. 
So what do I expect from WL Toys in 2022? Well, I think the first thing is do some proper quality control, do some proper speed testing, because lately we are seeing a lot of full speed claims. It's not only WL Toys, some other companies are doing it as well, some more than others, but WL Toys are known for doing it. They did it with a 144002. Uh, I've done a full video on the full speed claims, so be sure to check that one out if you are interested. Uh, I'd also like to see some slightly larger models from WL Toys, maybe another one tenth or one even a one eighth scale model would be really really nice. Um, they are a great company. I'm not trying to put people off from buying their models. I absolutely love WL Toys. I'm just still so disappointed about the whole version 2 thing. We're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you can see where I'm coming from with this. I'm not trying to blow things out of proportion, but I would like to see better from WL Toys. I've been a massive fan since the 144001. I will continue to recommend their products, but I'd really like them to make a few small changes to prevent any disappointment in the future. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.